Hello my creative friends, Olga Sobi here. Today I want to do one more uh, funnel lifting pour creating a ripple effect similar to what I did in my previous video. The effect turned out so cool, I really want to play with it more. Um, in case you haven't seen my last video, I'm gonna include the link just here in the corner and also in the description of this video. So I'm gonna do this funnel ripple thing using just slightly different brighter colors today. And I have a new Lazy Susan. So lately I have been spinning my art so much, I really feel like I need one more Lazy Susan, a little bigger one. So this idea I got from Tammy Anderson. So this is just the Lazy Susan for like a bathroom or kitchen or whatever, it's 18 inches diameter. And inside, I just put the silicone mat by Loli Wave. Uh, it's the same silicone mat as I have on my table, just round. And I tuck it in a little bit. And yeah, it's actually perfect fit. So Loli Wave has two different round silicone mats. This is a smaller one, and this is a bigger one. So bigger one I use for uh, resin. I just put it on the table, do all of my resin, and then, you know, just put it away. So I don't need to worry about removing all the small drips. Um, I would just remove the large chunks and then I would just fold it and put it away and yeah, forget about it till the next resin. And this small one fitted so perfectly in the Lazy Susan. So I'm very happy. I'm gonna include the link to those uh, silicone mats in the description of this video. And yeah, so I put the silicone mat here and for my canvas, I insert the uh, large, extra large push pins in the back of the canvas. I like them so much better than small ones because first of all, they tolerate and also um, I like that they have a bigger surface here. So it creates a better grip on the, you know, on my mat. So the canvas doesn't fly away anywhere. This Lazy Susan, it's pretty noisy. I'm not sure if you guys are gonna be able to hear it. And also, if you spin it hard, it begins to shake, which is, of course, not good for fluid art. So if you wanna do like hardcore spinning, I think my older Lazy Susan is a better option. Uh, it spins no problem, even if you spin it fast. I'm gonna include the video in the description where I give the instructions on how I did this Lazy Susan. And I think this one is pretty good for more like a gentle, mild spinning. Okay, yeah, I tested it out a few times and it worked just great. So, okay. I think that's everything I wanted to say about my Lazy Susan. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, I have this 18 inch around Lady Susan and my extra large push pins available in my Amazon store if you want to check it out and let's get started with today's funnel. All right, so today I'm working on a 10 by 10 canvas again and I want to use much brighter colors at this time. Um, it's a bit of a risk because as colors go through the funnel, they overmix a lot. So. Um, yeah, there is a bit of a risk that all the colors are gonna overmix and create a lot of mud, but I'm willing to take this risk and see what happens because I'm really in the mood for bright colors today. So let's get started. Again, I'm gonna start by adding some black in the center. Okay, that's a pretty generous amount here. So now I'm gonna try and get my funnel in the center. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So you can see all the color names on the screen. And if you wanna see exact products that I'm using, I'm gonna include all the links in the description of the video, as well as some other details. So check it out. Gosh, this is going to be a rainbow. I hope it's not gonna overmix too terribly. Oh, 
Okay, this should be enough. So now I'm going to lift the funnel in a short moves and put it back, like lift, 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 and release a small amounts of paint in the center of the canvas. So let's do this. Oh, this looks really nice actually. Not muddy so far. I oh, need to hurry and add some black around. Oh my goodness, I really like it so far. The center totally looks like a flower. Oh my god, you guys, I don't know if you can see. This is so cool. I'm gonna torch it just a little bit before I'm gonna spin it. Okay, seriously, so far this looks just beautiful. I don't know how come I didn't get a whole lot of mud, but I love it. Okay, let's try to spin it really gently. It's weird, but it's square. It's really taking the shape of the canvas. Huh, that's cool. Can you see little petals here in the center? It's like half of the half of the flower. This part doesn't have it. Okay. So as I'm stretching, I'm getting a little bit of muddy colors. Okay, seriously, how come this corner is not covered? Because this is perfect, this is perfect. I guess I'm gonna just try and carefully tilt it. Oh gosh, I don't want to break all this. This looks really cool so far. I get a lot of transparency here in the center. Oh my goodness. Come on. These colors are so happy. So I'm gonna just try and stretch it because I don't want to tilt it anymore it's so nice I don't know how come it's square usually I never get this effect on my open cups but this is awesome okay so I think I'm gonna just quickly touch up the sides and it's done time to stop if you guys give this technique a try, please share in our Facebook group. I would love to see your results. Okay, one last torch and it's good to go. Gosh, that would be so cool to have a full flower here in the center. It's even kind of symmetrical here. Here I have more like yellow and here is a blue and white. I don't know if you guys can see all the transparency layer in between the rings, there in between the ripples. I'm gonna bring you for a close up so you can see that, but it's a pretty cool effect. All right, please let me know in the comments what do you think about my today's result. I'm so happy with these colors, it's really nice. Thank you so much for watching. I'm looking forward to see your funnel ripple effects in our Facebook group and happy pouring take care and i'll see you in the next video bye bye